case, the white is the main reason we barely recognize you now. And it appears true. Drastic weight loss, dilated pupils is something we had to cheer through. But when you almost lost your teeth in that round with Big K, it brought a clear view. We need to be mindful of the people we give a near to. That's a drastic need. Uh, yeah, 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 I like it. We need to be careful of the people we give a near to. It's a drastic need. So anybody trying to come up from fly fam, letting a ratchet squeeze, we jabbing knees at rapid speed. We can't get to you, I'm grabbing the closest thing to ice pack, like a bag of peas. Make this bastard. I'm grabbing the closest. Hey, ARP, who is this nigga? Somebody get a hold of smack. He think every Negro created equal. Who in the fuck told him that? I will Jim Crow this bimbo. No trial, just get bro to max. Every slave I ever caught got his legs hacked off and then we sold him back. My first purchase was an old Lamac with the rusty air hose and a shoulder strap. Did it have a body on it? I don't know for fact. I still gave bro a rack because it had no Siri O and O's attached. Now I'm back, skating with a stick. Take a stab at hockey. Sit down and watch me cook this high class hibachi. For that spinach, green, cabbage, broccoli, I will grab a choppy and bust a move in a man as fast as a giant Milwaukee. Act blind, deaf, and dumb. See, look. You start rapping like that. Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like. So all y'all want to know what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow! Yep, yep, yep. Click, clack, click, clack. Let's get to that. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to all the subscribers out there. Everybody who's been watching the content. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP, you know what I'm saying? All the battle rap, battle rap is starting to like get a little groove. I see a lot of things going on. You see a bunch of cars going on. You got John John's car that's about to go down. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And you know, uh, today on the members only, Saga versus Young Ill drops, you know what I'm saying? We got, I know we got the bar for bar breakdown for Aver versus Young Ill. I mean, um, Aver versus Ill Will, you know what I'm saying? So the floor is yours, man. Tell me what you thought about you know what I'm saying? Everything that's been going on and what's popping with you, man. You know hey, what I'm listen, what's up? Listen, man, you know, I want to say, you know, uh, one of the biggest accolades, you know, was, was actually seeing a fire battle uh, last week. And then you went and double backed on me and actually saw these battles live. You know what I'm saying? I watched the recaps. You know, we was chopping it up. Right. But at the same time, it's different when I hear my friends in the background of certain battles. I'm moving a mass fast as a giant Milwaukee. Act blind, deaf, and dumb. See, look. Just saying it was very prevalent, I, I was hearing you. But, right. Young Ill versus Saga, that battle itself, I think that, that that's a good members only battle. It's a good battle. I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. I was feeling Young Ill, but now I am understand now why Young Ill doesn't need to be gone for so long. He, he needs to stick around. As far as this goes, as far as Saga's concerned on his RBE debut, he did as much as he could as far as did what he usually does. And that's make this thing debatable, but we could talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You was live. How did you feel about it live in the building? And then I'll tell you what I saw on that, uh, on, on the actual video ocular proof. Well, you know, see, the thing is a lot of people like they, when you see battles live, Versus when you see them on film, it's two totally different experiences. Mm. Because if even if you look at a battle like Ill Will versus Aver, if you're standing there and you're hearing everything happen and the reactions and everything that's going on, it seems really one sided. You mm. know what I'm saying? You can, see, you can stand there and it seem that way. You Got know you. I mean? Now, when you look at like a battle like uh, the Saga versus Young Ill, mm. um, we all know who the Saga is, we know what he does, etc. Right? Mm. Um, most of the betting eyes are probably there to see Young Ill. Mm. If there's 10 sets of eyes, eight of them are probably there to see Young Ill. Let's just, just be honest. You know? right. like people want to see what he's going to do mm. because we, we know what Saga is. We know who Saga is. We know what he can do. We want him to have a good performance, make the battle good, and we want him to win too. I'm not saying I don't want him to win a battle. Mm. What I'm saying is when you have these two names, you got one who's been around forever but hasn't been around. I was telling someone earlier mm. that... It was like, well, why is Young Ill so important? I said, well, when you think of it, 
Young Ill's supposed to be on the same level as Hitman Holla and Avert. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. literally, he's literally supposed to be a 1A, 1B, but his career is not there because of the long lapses and things like that in yeah. his career. So we're there to see him. You right. know what I mean? And he's a, he's debuting on rare. I mean, he's he's in a small circle. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, he, he battled on it. He's debuting on a full circle. Him. People mm -hmm. want to see him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's Young Ill. What's he going to do? You know, so um, with that being said, uh, the, with, like with the first round, you know what I'm saying? When you're watching the battle after the first round, you're like, man, you think this thing going to go one way. You yeah. got that thing on me. I got that stick. I got that tool. I'm yeah. packing. Because you know I think the clearest round of the battle is the first, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, you know, it yeah. was a great battle, but I liked it. What's up? I like the flow patterns that come that, that, that Young Ill brings to the table. I understand what it means. If y'all been following this channel for a long time and how much of a fan I am of building the house, I understand that it came from the, this is the house that the Midwest built. Mm -hmm. I like the setups. I like the flow patterns that Young Ill did. What's the one? Uh, if it's uh, uh, if it's uh, I grab the choppy and mask up faster than uh than a Jabberwocky. You see how it's the it's the dancing inside of the bars that end up with the haymaker. You go, oh, that was slick. But the one I like is in the third round. We'll get to that. But when it comes to these type of flow patterns that Young Ill has. He belongs in this type of setting. I like this battle for this setting. But Saga was punching in that first. To me, I I, I can see it's kind of close in that first round. Cause I don't know the ice uh LeBron Ice uh the yeah, LeBron Ison uh Ison pack. Yeah, body, you know, ice pack yeah. yeah, like that like that one was good. And then you got the other one where he says uh uh where he does the the it's the members only thing. So you know y'all 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 gonna have to pay that full. But when it comes to uh, the, the closest part in the first round, I can understand where the, the separate the difference was in between the two because of the fact that yeah, Young Ill kind of wrapped a little bit longer. Yeah, he did, he did, he did. But I mean, he had a lot of dope shit. He had the coldest sack line. He had the this niggas about as dangerous as Doja, Doja Cat. Cat. Like throughout the first round, he was styling. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like you could tell by the way he was rapping and the things that he was getting into. Um, that his material was like his first round. He he wrote his first round to try to win the first round. You right. know what I'm saying? Like a lot of exciting moments. Uh he was going at Saga a little bit. In the battle altogether, the way it was written, I think, uh overall, mm. I feel like the material that was catered, the the more written to to someone personal material probably came from Saga. Mm -hmm. But Young Ill's entertainment factor Young Ill's moments, you know mm. what I'm saying, in some of those rounds. Like I said, the first round to me is the clearest, but I mean, what's mm. up? The second round, uh, the first round was clear for Ill for you. I kind of had Saga in the second round clear for me because I did like the white substance isn't the only thing you should be, that's not the only white substance you should be worried about. Mm -hmm. That one was a, a good one. You know, he did overlay on the crackhead thing, but at the same time, he kind of made it make sense. Mm -hmm. I like that. I liked his angle better mm -hmm. than Young Ill's. As far as Young Ill's second round, I did feel like it was shorter because he was kind of leading into something, and then he ended up ending it with the third round with the, you know, tell me, you know, Is that. Is it that true, my mm -hmm. friend? Mm -hmm. You putting Vaseline in places you're not supposed to use, my friend. So that for young it like it, he does that uh, when he said uh, A R P. Who is this nigga? Somebody call Smack. Wait, okay, now you're trying to, you, I, I see what you're trying to do here. Yeah. It seems like the way that I, I'm watching this battle the first time around, yeah, I had Young Ill clearly. Mm -hmm. But then the second time around, I'm like, I'm kind of going towards Saga in the second. Like, I'm sorry, uh, in the second. So if I say, if I go, I could argue the first for Saga. But if I'm actually being a realist, I'm going to say Young Ill got the first. Saga got the second. The third round... That's where you can find it as a real toss-up. It's for Saga in the third round. It was the let's talk about being young, ill, mm -hmm. and he actually talked about how he was actually a sick kid. Yeah, apparently he was supposed to be an abortion, but because it lasted all the way long, he was a premature baby. Then there's another situation where he talks about he had a problem with his foot. He says you was trying to make it out the arch. I was trying to get one. That was fire from Saga. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. When it comes to Young Ill, <laughs> the the the, uh, the the um oh, and I also see that uh, Saga was trying to uh, he was trying to negate what Young Ill was going to talk about when he was saying that the uh, the first uh, the first Jewish the first Jews was black, mm -hmm. that angle. But he kind of like slightly touched touched on it 
Whereas Ill kind of laid into it, and even though I kind of knew it was coming, I still liked it on Young Ill side. I don't know. Like I said, that third round for me, it could be preference. I, I, Y'all really need to watch it because it is on premium, so you know we can't really give too much. I had a. Uh... I had Young Ill 2-1 from um, from my variables from being there mm -hmm. and when the, the energy that I felt watching it, then watching it back again, you know what I'm saying? I got him with the first and I'm engine him the third. I like Saga's angle. It's really, it could be pretty debatable and there's going to be people who are going to have him winning. But I'm saying, when I was there, from what I saw, mm -hmm. coming all the way back home, seeing it again, my thought process doesn't change much, but it makes it a little bit more debatable. I'll say this. Uh, Battles are too tough to have to go down 1-0. You know what I'm saying? Like battles in, in, in places like the circle and all types of shit like that. Mm. It's gonna be tough to go down 1-0. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, he fought back and made it and made it pretty debatable. Yeah. Is what I would say. I mean, especially him coming off uh, for Young Ill coming mm. off the battle with Big K. You know, and you know it was pretty clear it was on Big K's side. But you know, Big K mm. ended up winning the whole thing for the whole year. So you know, it kind of. Kind of just helped for the resume name. For this one, this battle here for Young Ill, this was kind of a, okay, this is a show and prove for both of them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then I think that Young Ill deserves to stay. He belongs here. He ain't one of them legends where it's like, oh, God, all right, I don't want to hear him now. Mm -hmm. That ain't him. You know what I mean? And the fact that it's it's the backing that he has from St. Louis, and you and you can't really you can't really speak ill against Young Ill because you know them fly fan boys is coming after you. You know what I'm saying? But... Hey, shout out to Saga. I, what is this? They were saying he was choppy or slippy or in the. It was a little. This is like second round. He has a little like. I I, I definitely know what they're saying. It yeah. Was, maybe like a word or two. I mean, but it's you know it's nerves. You know what I'm saying? You battling in a new spot and things like that. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see. It wasn't much of an issue though. Not to me. I wouldn't look at it like that. I, I would look at it the same way too. Not to mention, you know, you can really hear a pin drop in there. It's mad quiet in there. So you know, I believe you can. Slip up on a word. You can't just be like, ah, you know what I'm saying? You can't be doing the other stuff. Um, another note that I want to say is that I used to love when um, you uh, uh, you about to fill a rap, a sensei saga. He usually has like a crazy haymaker after that one. This one, he didn't really have a crazy right, haymaker. Right, I was right, kind of right. expecting that one, though. But overall, I was excited about this battle. I do like this battle. It is on the membership. Is it worth the membership? Of course it is. You might as well just go ahead and copy because I believe they're going to drop it. Sometime next week. But other than that, what's your uh, your final thoughts? Uh, what do you think about the environment and all? I, I will, all right, can, is this a safe space? What you mean? I'm just saying, is this a safe place where I can, you know, be honest? What's up? You know what I'm saying? At first, I didn't get why they were doing the full circle. Like, what, like I get how the shooting was, and I get that part. But I was kind of missing, like, I don't know, the element of it. Because at first, it was, like, mad silent. I like this type of full circle where it's not many people, but it's at least some type of reaction. I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like the... But, but whereas I'm a little bit indifferent, too, because I liked how the rooftop setting was, was with the full circle. But I also wanted to hear more reactions from people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, if I have to be nitpicky, is if they keep it in that warehouse type setting, I'm all for it. If we if we gonna go in different venues, let's keep trying different venues. But I'm gonna nah, say bro. eight out of ten. No, nah, that's a that's a that's a bro. That area right there is is it's really good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, I, I say this. Um, from and it's not to like you know really like embark on a mission like oh we were in LA if I'm there you're there mm -hmm. so that area and that environment is dope it's gritty you know what I'm saying it's like right off of not too far from Slauson you know what I'm saying it's, it's kind of dead in the middle of the hood but yeah. then it's kind of like you know how some like you know how you go in certain areas and you in the hood, but then they have like a little industrial area yeah. where, you know what I'm saying, you turn to left and it's like warehouses and yeah. you know what I'm saying, it ain't yeah. really the hood, but right. it's in the hood, yeah. you know what I'm if talking you about. you go four or five, five yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, 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 you gotta kind of like know what colors you're wearing there and all of that, you I know what I'm saying, like it gets, a little, it's heavy like that, yeah. but I would say for battle rap, I think it's pretty dope, um, you know, to have the, the little thing going around, what you thought about the wheel going around in circles and all that, was you, was you rocking with it? When it came to, when it was Saga and, um, when it was Saga and Young Ill, uh, it did. I didn't pay attention to it as much. I was more focused on the battle. But when when that bourbon, bourbon, <laughs> listen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 gonna we gonna talk, we gonna talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Right, we, gonna, we definitely right, gotta talk about let's that. Let's get to that. Yeah, let's get to that. <laughs> you know what I'm that's, that's what I was here for oh, homework for. Shit, let's get but to that. 
It is on the memory. I'm about to say it is still it's gonna on the memory. It's going to come out tomorrow. It's probably gonna, I mean, when this comes out, it'll okay. probably be out. Because right. normally when it comes out on the members, mm -hmm. the next day it actually comes out. Um, what you thought about uh, Jag not battling? I mean, I heard Charlie Clips are sick. I get it, whatever the case yeah. may be. But what do you think? I mean, I, I, I can't feel any type of way because the battle is a no show. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. do I feel the type of way because I wanted to see Jag versus Charlie Clips? Of course. But then again, I always want to see Charlie Clips battle. And when he doesn't show up, now I'm upset. You know what I mean? Well, mm. not upset, but like it doesn't, you know, <sighs> you know, that's how I feel. But I don't know. Maybe Charlie wasn't ready. I don't know. I feel like I know if Jag was fully clipped up, you know what I'm saying? And he was in L.A. So yeah, I think it was gonna be one sided. It was gonna it was gonna get off for Charlie. I feel like it. That's why he got sick. It was it, he had got you know the nervous sickness. That's why he didn't show up. Um, but I heard he made. I heard he went to L.A. and everything. I'm like, so he's in L.A. Yeah. He just didn't play. He just threw up. You know, he right, yeah, he was throwing up in the hotel and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We don't know that. That's um, allegedly. But hey. Who else you want to see on these type of joints? You know what I'm saying? Uh, like big artists, small artists. You know what I'm saying? Would you like to see like a Hitman on there? You know what I'm saying? Like a Big K or Easy or something like that. What you want to see on there? I want to see a lot more. I want to see a lot of the lyricists. So like a lot. Like I mean, you know, if Chilla want to come back outside, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind seeing them in that type of full circle mm -hmm. setting. You know, mm -hmm. like 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 actual people that's gonna be. Because of that silence, you can hear everything, and there's certain things you can, oof, I don't know. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Gang, gang, gang. Not rapping like that in this area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So, oh, y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. 